Okay, it's an extraordinary time, and if you're like me, nothing seems real these days, and neither is the housing market. So I've been a broker out here in Fulcher area for over 30 years, and sales have never been better, ever. However, it's actually different than what most think the market is. So I thought I'd take a few minutes, tell you a little bit about it. First, let's look at what's driving the market. It's a combination of low inventory, pent-up demand, and buyers taking advantage of historically low interest rates. So let's look at sellers. They're selling their homes fast. I mean, real fast. Imagine this. In the entire zip code of 77441, the entire zip code, nearly 85%, 85, look, 85 of all the resales went under contract in around 10 days. To be exact, 11 days. Now that's unbelievable. Sales prices are up too. So great news for sellers. It is exactly what most sellers want. Sell my home fast and sell it for more. So what about buyers? Low interest rates help them get a more expensive home for the same payment. So they have a choice. They can live in a home like this or a home like this for the same payment. And that's why buyers are out market buying today. So it all sounds good for buyers and sellers, right? Well, maybe not. Let's pull back the curtain, ah, pull back the curtain, and it shows a different story, okay? So actually, it's a real tough market, and it's very stressful, <laughs> especially for me, okay? So let's look at buyers. Let's see what's happening to buyers. Low interest rates are great, but there's a caveat. You can only get low interest rates from buying a home if you find the right home. And that's where the challenge is. Inventory of both new homes and resales are extremely short in supply. Here's a good example. Western Lakes, normally 50, 60, 50 to 60 homes on the market at any one time. Not now. There's a total of one, two, three, four. Five. Imagine that. So it's not that the homes are just selling so fast, it's also there's no time because they are selling that fast. So for buyers, it's much like last Sunday's Easter egg hunt. You have all of a sudden the bell rings and everybody runs out there and tries to find those Easter eggs. So in addition, not only are they selling that fast, they also have competitive offers. And remember when it was like, let, let's just look back. Remember trying to find toilet paper when COVID first hit? You had to wait in line. Plumbers, if you were one of the unfortunate ones like me, where during the last freeze, uh, your pipes broke and you needed a plumber, not much different. Had to wait to go find a plumber. Want to buy a generator today? Get on a six month waiting list. Well, the housing market isn't any different. And that's why we have a waiting list of buyers and even agents that are waiting for the next new listing to come up. And that's why, since we have all these buyers in queue, as soon as we list a home, we can sell it the next day, occasionally. Doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. So it's a different market, totally different market. And it's no longer just price that is the paramount concern because sellers know that they're gonna get it for at least list price if there's multiple offers. And for buyers, here's the big difference. Normally, in a normal market, which we're not in, you're just, ne you're just negotiating with the seller. Not in this market. You're negotiating against all the other buyers. And that's very different. And there's a skill set for the agents to do this. So that's the issues with buyers. Can't find homes, multiple offers, time elements. But what about sellers? You'd think they'd be happy. They're getting everything they want. Higher prices, selling their homes quick. But sellers are also stressed for two reasons. First, it's the uncertainty. Because even though 85% of the homes sold in 10 days or so, not all of them did. And they don't know which ones. So they still need to fix their home up, have it staged properly, and priced correctly. If they do all those, as soon as it hits the market, Hopefully they get multiple offers. 
For most sellers, though, they do get to dance. So, all right, I can't dance, all right? But this market is a very challenging variation of the Texas two-step. Here's why. As soon as a seller gets a contract, they are converted. It's a metamorphosis, just like the, the caterpillar to a butterfly. They instantly become a buyer, and that creates a big problem because of the reasons I just mentioned for buyers. There's a shortage of homes, and it's not just here in Fulcher, not just here in Texas, it's nationwide, except for a few major cities. So homes are selling fast everywhere. So if you're a seller, then you're automatically converted to a buyer. So the challenge now is, how do we get you out of your house and into the next one? So with that, have, there are multiple offers, but again, price is not the issue. Because if you have multiple offers, you know you're getting more than, than you expected anyway. It's the terms and the conditions of the sale that becomes paramount for these. Here's a few of the issues. Appraisals. So with appraisals, it's a house done on a price, and you don't find out that until about 21 days or more after the contract price, and you don't want to find out at that time your house didn't appraise. Closing dates. Got to negotiate closing dates that are favorable to you so you can find another house. Then you also have to consider leasebacks. So with sellers, there's a, a lot of issues to help the sellers move from being a seller to a buyer. In addition to that, the entire supply chain is stressed. Lenders are overloaded. Inspectors, they're running behind because they're busy. Surveys are taking longer. Title companies are overbooked, especially with COVID. And appraisers are overtasked in two ways. First, they have a heavy workload and they're challenged with having to get comps for homes that are higher priced than what they were uh, of the other comps because of other comps because of rising prices. Agents, we're under pressure, okay? We're under pressure too. Because buyers are frustrated first, they can't find a home because there's hardly any inventory. Hard to buy new homes too because there's no supply and if you're on a waiting list or have to have the house get built. So that makes it very difficult for the buyers. But that makes it difficult for the agents because they have to find the right home. So once they are fortunate enough to find the home, then they have to negotiate the offer or they lose it. So we have instances in which some of our buyers are competing against 20 other multiple offers. So you don't want to lose it because buying a home is very personal. There's very few homes that it's not a commodity rather. So homes are personal and each buyer finds one home that they want and when they lose it due to multiple offers, it hurts and it's very stressful for the agent. So not much different when you're handling sellers either. Very challenging because of the Texas two-step, right? So not quite all good news for either buyers or sellers, yet it's still a remarkable time to be a buyer or a seller because this is the best market ever. So it, it just happens to be a challenging one, but it's certainly better than the alternative. So this is also, here's the little sales pitch, it's why you need an experienced agent in this time to be able to negotiate and help whether you're a buyer or a seller. So I wanted to thank you for having to watch this and for more information uh, into any of the specific communities, just read the information below. And again, thanks for watching.